Hey guys, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. Now, this is just a quick what's wrong with the shape of video. I pulled the table off so we can see what's happening here. I had a bit of a look. This is a 5 8 by 8 TPI square thread, left hand thread lead screw. And there's a matching nut, which is what that looks like. Now, that's a bit worn, but. If we have a look, not seriously so. Even up here in the middle, where we've seen a lot more use. Yeah, it's got 15, 20 thou, but I don't think it should be an issue. This is the screw, and it's got a bit of a bend in that end. I don't think that's an issue either. It's obviously been dropped or bumped or something on one end, and probably, probably it's out about. You might have a ten thou bend in it, a fifteen thou. I don't think that's a problem. Over about three inches. But if we put it in here, it all spins nice and free, and there's no. I put the test indicator on the middle here. There's no real wobble or anything. The problem is that we've got this gear has got a, a grub screw in it, which goes on this flat here. There. Move this over so we can see it. Goes on this flat, like that. Right, and that's tightened up through this hole in the in the pole, in the cam. which goes on that way. Now until you tighten that up see you can't put this on so really it's got to be undone and undone out through the hole to fit it together now this is spring like is spring loaded that way and that way and that all seems to work okay the pins there everything works it clicks that way or as it's supposed to it clicks that way if you pull this out it should just spin Now there's a gap behind here. So when we put this together, there's this gap here. It seems to me that this gear should be tied up against there to create some sort of friction. On the, on the screw so that this works properly, so it clicks backwards and forwards. Without that, what happens is that the frictions between this surface and this surface mostly, and as such it just moves backwards and forwards like this. So that's the dilemma. It doesn't seem right. To my mind, You see, because there's that much gap there, you move that over there so we're looking straight down there. Because there's that much gap there, and there needs to be that much gap for this to move backwards and forwards, then clamping this up clamps these two surfaces together rather than these surfaces together so that this is free to move backwards and forward so there's a couple of things this could be the wrong gear I don't think so it's quite worn and I reckon it's as old as the machine more likely I think 
that there's a washer or a spring or something that's missing in here that should grip on this bed so that this pole will swing backwards and forwards when it's in the right spot and there's still friction against the end here does that make any sense to anyone? I've had a million people say that it's this or it's that and really for a while there I was convinced that it's the backlash in the nut but if there's friction here and we're feeding all the same direction the backlash in the nut shouldn't make any difference so I don't think that's the issue a new nut wouldn't hurt because it is a bit worn but I'm going to leave that for a bit the problem to me seems to be that there's something missing here that stops this from from gripping or or being um, a, a friction fit in the bed here so that this ratchet can move backwards and forwards I'd love some feedback on this it is a little bit mystifying and I haven't actually seen an, a an actual parts book for this and there must be people out there who own them but to my mind see if we put this together and tighten this screw up right we've got this fancy that's a pretty loose fit that's a spin and fit right if we put this on so that this is loose enough to slide backwards and forwards it's still a spin and fit right if we put this on so that it's a tight fit so that the ratchet actually works it then this is a tight fit too and it just moves it backwards and forwards like that yes it's moving it backwards and forwards quite a bit before there's any movement in the nut going back the other way it's not feeding because because the friction is between this this pole or the pole carrier and the gear it's not actually between the pole carrier in here or the gear in here so that's the problem if we tighten this up so that move that round so we can see that the grub screw in the hole loosen that off then tighten that up so that it's close and put the washers and the screws on the end so that it pulls it in nice and tight what you find is exactly the same thing is that it moves the every time it moves backwards and forwards it moves the gear backwards and forwards rather than actually slipping so I believe that there's something missing between this gear and between this plate whether it's a washer and a and a spring or whether it's just a brass a brass washer or a cast iron washer it doesn't seem to be there so that's what this video is all about just to show you that thanks for watching guys and Subscribe if you find it interesting and like and comment if you've got any feedback on it because seriously it's not much good how it is. If you keep friction on the other end of the screw or on there, yeah it works. But when you take that friction off, even if you tighten the gibbs up 
and the nut up and everything else so that that nut hardly even moves there's no way in the world it's going to move backwards and forwards so let us know what you think be kind to each other and more soon